Yes, I know, I know, no video in a while, <laughs> but uh, this last, these couple weeks are tough. Um, my wife takes her vacation uh, the week leading up to Christmas and the week leading up to New Year's. It's that she has to take her last two weeks vacation mandatory. Um, so we take one of her vacations early in the year and take a short trip, and then the week of Christmas we take a we go out of town. And, and that is what we did. And, um, and then we have family come that stay the week leading up to New Year's uh, we've, for the last five years. And uh, so there isn't much time to do a video. And, and, and I don't really want to because i got other stuff going on. I'd, you know, I'm spending time with family I haven't seen in a while. We're, we're on a trip doing stuff. And it's just I don't even want to spend the time to make a video. Right? And so... And I thought I would do a live uh, tonight, but uh, not on New Year's uh, Eve. I think I'll do a live tomorrow night. Uh, and so look forward to that. Uh, but I wanted to make this quick video and just sort of tell everybody, uh, just kind of bring some people up to speed, okay? Because I know a lot of you are like me. You have a life, and so you can't sit and watch all these live streams, right? I had, I haven't looked at Anonymous's Dude's channel in quite a while. Uh, and, and it's not out of bitterness. It's, it's out of, there's, there's never going to be anything said over there that would interest me. I'm not one to gossip. I'm not into gossip, number one. Number two, it grates me to listen to somebody talk shit about other people when they themselves aren't no better. It, it annoys me to see people that are that unself-aware. Uh, and so that brings us to the topic of this video. Now, <clears throat> uh, I can say, and, and as you all know, I was nothing but just a friend to AD. I never did anything to that guy. And I'm going to say the same thing about Fusion, Mr. Fusion, the holier-than-thou Mr. Fusion. Um, so I hadn't looked at AD's channel in a while, and I, I get up at 4 in the morning, build an alarm clock, open my phone up while I'm sitting in the bathroom, and lo and behold, there he is live. So I click on it. And the first thing I hear is them talking shit about me. And it's Fusion talking how I'm unhinged, as if the last year never took place. Like, I haven't earned the right to finally respond in kind. Like, that never happened. Uh, like, it just, and that's what I mean about how fake these people are. Fusion knows damn well what I put up with over the last year of having all my personal information spewed all over the damn internet, uh, having my phone number, my address, my birth date, the last four of my social, hovering over my house, having shit sent to my house. Son of a bitch is actually trying to file charges on me. Like that never happened. Where was your... Oh, my God, they're so unhinged. When they did a nine-hour live stream calling me a pedo, using my real name, Fusion, where was your, oh, they're unhinged. Where was that at? Because that's what I hear coming out of this turd's mouth, that I'm unhinged. Because after tolerating it for a year, I finally got fed up enough to do it back. And let me tell you something, twerp. Okay, you're not in a position to criticize anyone. You are one of the fakest people of Crack Squad, because when I first started doing these videos, you were one of the first people to jump on there, oh, man, acting like you were somebody that had integrity. And it turns out you don't have any integrity. You're fake. You're, you're fake when you say I'm unhinged when you know damn well they earned that response. They way more than earned it, and you know it. And two, to watch you bully and I mean flat-out bully, somebody that's weaker mentally, physically, and financially. To watch you bully somebody like that relentlessly for a year, build an entire channel on it, 
going as far as to send the police to his house, try to get him swatted, try to get him committed, and, and justifying it that you're helping him somehow. It's a joke. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, Fusion, you might think you're a big shot in the eyes of a handful of crack squadians, but, but anybody out there that has a shred of decency and a shred of integrity, look at you like the piece of shit you are because you don't bully people smaller and weaker than you. That's just something you don't do. And you more than did it. You took it way overboard. And there's something not right about you that you would want to dedicate that much time to picking on and bullying and bad-mouthing somebody that doesn't have the ability to fight back. Because let me tell you something, buddy, I do. And I'm going to tell you this one time and one time only. You get my name out your mouth, or you're not going to like the response you get. And your shit's out there. Your name, all of that has been out there for quite some time. You make no mistake about it. I'm not going to put up with it from you. You're another one I never did a damn thing to. And all you're trying to do is grift off of me. And you want to see unhinged, I'll show you unhinged. Okay? They, the, my finally doing a little bit back to those assholes doesn't make me unhinged. I earned it. What's unhinged is picking on somebody weaker than you for an entire year. Sending the police to people's house is one of the sleaziest things you can do. And that brings us to the point of this video. So I click on AD's channel. I haven't looked at his channel in forever. There they are, talking trash about me. Fusion talking like he's above it all. I'm unhinged. The, 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 the biggest crack squad bully, fakest, spineless twerp of YouTube, talking about I'm unhinged because I finally got fed up and responded in kind. They sent the police to Martin's house. And, and A.D., that shit took place on your live stream with your friends while you laughed and giggled about it, which makes you a participating party. And I'm sorry, that is just about as scummy as you can get. I have never seen Martin do a damn thing to any of you. Honestly, I haven't. I, I had a reason to be mad at him. He did do stuff to me, but like a man, he asked me for my forgiveness, and I gave it to him. That's something none of you are capable of doing because none of you are man enough. You're all a bunch of sissies and cowards. And they sent the police to Martin's house, and they're all sitting there laughing and giggling about it like it's funny. And it just goes to show you, you're just scum, dude. You're scum. You, you don't have a right to talk about anyone. And then I hear uh, AD talking shit about Ryan Nichols. You know, uh, Rusty Truck's boyfriend. It's, it's true. He has no life. He has no woman. That's very true, AD. Extremely true. He's got nothing going. He's living in a one-bedroom shit apartment and he don't have a pot to piss in. His wife dumped him for a real man. And so all he's got in life is just this washwoman shit. I mean, when you see a, a guy his age dedicate the time he dedicates to trolling people and trying to, like, befriend people online, like, he, he's, like, got this habit. He's got to, like, try to call everyone and, like, it's and, 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 and knowing that they all, like, record each other, and, and then they'll turn around and backstab each other with it. And, and you think, how or why would they even want to dedicate that time? I mean, I don't. there isn't anybody in Crack Squad I care enough about to spend more than 20 minutes bothering with them at all, to be honest. And to see, you know, old Ryan Nichols, like, dig through forums that are, like, 20 years old looking for a comment I might have made. It's just sad to know that someone his age has the time to do it and the want to do it. It's sad. It really is. It's a sad story. And so you're right about that, A.D. You, everything you said about him is true. But the only problem is 
Yeah, he has no woman in the house. You have a woman in the house, but she don't want to be around you. And that that's clearly obvious, okay? Because I can tell you, you're not kidding anyone, dude. Your marriage is shit. You have a shit marriage, A.D., and I'm in a shit one. Because if I, the week of Christmas, or any day, the day before, the day after, during that time when, when it's family time, if I spent 30 hours out of 48 online talking shit about other men, my wife would have kicked the fucking office door open and told me to get the hell off the computer, and she would have been fucking pissed. The fact that your wife don't even care that you sit in there and spend your every waking moment doing that says more than you know. It's because she's happy with you being right there where you're at. In, in, in locked in the fucking room, away from her, away from the kids, away from her family, where they can enjoy themselves and not have to deal with you. And that is the truth about what's going on. Because no healthy marriage, A.D., no healthy marriage would it be that way. There's not a man out there that's married to a woman that loves him that he would be able to set online. Dude, you have been on live stream day and night for the last week, nonstop. And, and I looked, it was 30-some hours out of 48 over Christmas that you were online. With the same group of people talking shit like you're above it. So, yeah, Ryan Nichols, he may not have, he, he may not have a woman in the house, but, yeah, you got a woman in the house, but she don't want anything to do with you anyway. She'd rather you be right in that office with the door shut and locked. I've, I've seen you're, you're, you're live. Like when, when my wife gets home from work, I'm glad to see her. I want to hear about her day. She's going to talk to me. I mean, that's no, you're, you're locked in the office online. You don't even know if she's home or not. So, yeah, you can pretend like you got some kind of, I don't know what the hell you got, like an arrangement, I guess you would call it. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, you would not want to be online over Christmas if you had a good marriage, A.D. You'd want to be spending it with your wife and kids. You wouldn't want to be online talking shit about other men when your wife gets home with, from work if you had a healthy marriage. You'd want to be talking to her about her day. That's just normal human behavior. So you're not kidding anybody, A.D. You're, you, you aren't in a position to criticize anyone. And you condoning the, that fucking bunch doing, now, now they're on your live stream doing what they've been doing to Square for a year. They, they, they have literally been trying to wreck that kid's life for real, for real, for a year. Doing shit. In real life, sending the police, trying to get him swatted, trying to get him committed, trying to get him arrested, trying to get charges on him for a year. And now you got him over there on your channel doing it to Martin? Yeah, dude, you, you, you have lost any, cred any salvageable credibility you could have ever had. And I know the people that sat on that panel over there with you are too shallow to know it. But it makes you all look just incredibly fucking sleazy to do that shit. I haven't seen Martin do anything to any of you guys. I've never seen Johnny Gobble do a damn thing to any of you. And ain't a goddamn one of you can say, I did anything to you. So you can't even justify the shit you do. It, it, you're just the type of people that do that, which means you're just scum. You're just shitty human beings. You're trolls. And you're scum. It just shocks me that you, you, you can talk about Nichols not having a woman, yet you got a woman in the house, and you would rather be talking to a bunch of scumbags online. So you ain't no better off than he is. His wife dumped him and left, and she moved on to a real man, and that's exactly what's going to happen to you. Yeah, I'm just telling you. I know, man. I've seen it too many times. There's no way you have a good, solid 
relationship that could weather a storm. And she's fine with you spending your every waking moment locked in that room, sucking on a bong, talking shit on the internet. It's just that that's not a normal thing. Uh, but yeah, folks, they sent the police to Martin's house. The, the, all the shit he's going through. Okay, well then, they want you to believe they're good people because they gave him money. But the problem is, charity is not something you announce. Charity is not something you brag about. Charity is not something you tell about. When you see all these little TikTokers record themselves giving a homeless guy a hamburger, they aren't doing it for him. They're doing it for themselves. And that's exactly what Crack Squad did, giving Martin money. Because now all they're doing is hitting him over the head with it. They gave him money, and now they're hitting him over the head with it after they bragged about doing it. So it wasn't charity. It was attention. It was for them. It wasn't for him. When I help people, nobody knows. That's the, you know, that's the reason why you heard that other idiot talking crap about Zen Archer because I did a lot of things for Zen, myself and others, that nobody knew about. And that's the way it should be. And uh, if I decided to help somebody, nobody would know but me and them. Because that's the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to go bragging about it and then hit them over the head with it a couple days later. And I'll tell you, Martin, I, 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 it'd be tough for me. I mean, I know you needed it, and that's why you took it. But I'd give it back the minute I could and just tell them all to go to hell. Because, yeah, it could have been something nice if they'd have kept their mouth shut about it. But since it was a weapon instead of charity, ah, this just screw them, man. Dude, unbelievable. And I don't care what you guys think of Martin. He is allowed to say anything he wants in a YouTube video as long as it doesn't violate YouTube's terms of service. And if you don't like what he has to say, don't watch. Nothing he says in a video justifies you people trying to affect his real life. Calling his employer, sending the police to his house is scummy. And, and you watch how quick Wade Deaver, excuse me, John Weaver, Or, or, or John Deaver, rather. It's hard for me because I went to school with a guy named John Weaver. Anyway, you watch how quick he becomes a victim now. Just like Fusion sitting there with the gall to say, I'm unhinged after I tolerated intolerable bullshit for a year. They earned that response, Fusion. Unlike the shit you've done to Square for an entire fucking year, picking on somebody weaker and smaller than you and then trying to act like you got some kind of integrity. You don't, man. You are just an insufferable, attention-seeking bully and a twerp. Period. And your, your best option is just shut up about me. Just shut up. And just go and do something else. That's... And that's it. That's the only time I'm going to talk to you about it in any kind of friendship way. And just remember me telling you that when you go, oh, shit. And you, A.D., you aren't in a position to criticize everybody that sits on that panel. You trashed mouth those. You act like the last year never took place. You contradict yourself multiple times within the same hour. You have lied so many times, contradicted yourself so many times. You, you, you sat and talked shit about other people because they did exactly what you've done for eight months. It's unbelievable to see how unself-aware 
And Martin had every right to do what he did. Them son of a bitches calling his, his, trying to find out where his new job is so they can call and cause him problems, trying to send the police to his house to swat him, saying he's trying to delete himself. You people are going to get your own, and you're not going to like it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on a live soon. It, uh, like I say, I'll do, I'll do tomorrow night. Uh, we'll do a live, and uh, we'll, we'll talk crap about them for a while. Uh, and uh, only, and then uh, here's the difference, okay? I don't have to grossly exaggerate, take shit out of context, and make stuff up. I can just show who you are, and it's it stands on its own, man. So uh, we'll see you guys Monday. See you.